If you lose, you have to clean my room and do my laundry. Hmm. Yeah. Did these used to be white? <gasps> That's the deal, sis. If you want to be the big cheese, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. Martin Mystery's room. Martin speaking. Hey, kid! <laughs> Dad! Uh, are you okay? Where are you? Uh, at the moment, underneath an extremely heavy piece of photography equipment. Uh, ah, that's better. Hey, so how'd you and your stepsister like to join me for a little impromptu woodland excursion? Huh, sounds like a blast. Oh, uh, good. I've set up a camp in the area for a bit of mammalian research I'm doing. With you and Diana, it'll be just like one of those camping trips we used to take when you were smaller. Smaller? Yeah, anyway, come on out as soon as you can, and we'll have ourselves a bit of family amusement. Oh, and don't forget to take your toothbrush and clean socks. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore, you know. <laughs> a kid anymore, that's a good one. Uh, uh, see you soon, kid. <sighs> come on, Diana, we're hooking up with Dad. He's not too far from here. B but I should have the feeling back in my fingers any second. Diana! Okay, fine. I wasn't gonna win this thing anyway. We better call the center and tell them... <gasps> Man, talk about timing! It coming from TV. I understand you want to take some time off to go camping with your father. Huh? How did you know that? I could tell you, but then you would have to be transferred to the center field office at the South Pole. I suppose it's not really, uh, well, you know, that important. Exactly. I think taking a few days off is a wonderful idea. Get out in the fresh air, come back recharged. Java go too? I don't think that's such a good idea, Java. This is really a family reunion for Martin, Diana, and their father. No. Oh, cheer up, Jov. We'll be back before you know it. Besides, I'm sure you'll have all sorts of fun around here. Uh, <gasps> not so fast. You have to leave your new watch. Huh. Uh, I never go anywhere without it. What if your father finds it, tries to see what time it is, and then fires off a laser? <laughs> uh, that would be bad. Okay. It'll be fine. Here. To make it up to you, I had operations put together some special camping gear for your trip. Self-assembling tent, portable, battery-operated microwave camping stove. Actually, I prefer to camp out the old-fashioned way, you know, relying on my ingenuity and basic survival skills. I guess that means you won't be needing the 50-person self-inflating emergency escape raft. Oh, this is gonna be some trip. <laughs> I've only got one word to say. Pavement! Hey, look! There's Dad! Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, there you are. I was getting worried Martin didn't follow my directions properly. Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. Hi, Martin. <laughs> How's school going this year? <laughs> Great. I meant Martin. I assume you're knocking it out of the park this year, as always, my dear? <sighs> so, uh, Dad, uh, what are you working on? These footprints were recently discovered by loggers in the area. They appear to belong to a new species of mammal. Whoa! This didn't come from any normal animal. It's from a manimal. Part man and part animal. Similar to the Siberian sloth man of 1814. Exactly what kind of classes am I paying for at Torrington Academy? Uh, <laughs> uh, Martin was just playing around. Right, Martin? Sure. Just playing. Humor. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Anyway, I'm sure there's a rational explanation behind the animal that made these tracks. As I said in my standing room only lecture at the University of Myanmar, proper research, not wild flights of imagination, is the key to science. Uh, where are you going? Well, uh, seeing how you don't need my help with your research, I'll go catch you some dinner. Did I say something wrong? Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Java. Well, why the long face? Me Neanderthal. I mean, uh, why do you look so sad? Oh, Java Miss Martin Diana. Well, what if we found you something to do around here? A job. Something to take your mind off of them. Really? Their job here Java can do? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, please. You're embarrassing yourself in front of the fish. <laughs> Basic survival skills, Diana. We can't live without them. Hey! <laughs> Are we talking you or the fish? <laughs> Any idea how irresponsible that was? How childish? I'm sorry. I was just joking. <gasps> Martin, if you think I'm so naive as to be fooled by another one of your tricks... Well, I'm not doing that. I'm right here. Mm. <laughs> you, you gotta get me out of here. It's gonna find me. Grab me again. What? What is? Oh, it, it makes a sound. Some kind of yell. It, that's how it stops you from running. I, I barely escaped. Please! You gotta get me out of here. That must be it. Totally. The same animal whose tracks I've been studying. Just what I'm thinking. And based on this poor man's description, it sounds just like it's... Way ahead of you. Obviously a bear. What? Probably of the genus Selenarctus africanus. Dad, please. It's clearly something much more than that. My guess is that it's a relative of the Florida skunk ape. Florida skunk ape? <laughs> That's a mythical creature, son. It doesn't exist. Oh, no? Then why do we have a breeding pair down at the set? Uh, and don't you think we should help this man first? You know, before the spirited debate? Oh, yes, 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 of course. Diana, your razor-sharp mind never fails. As I said in my keynote address at last June's Anthropic Cosmology Conference, actions speak louder than obtuse... <gasps> Excuse me, mythical creature? How do you explain this? Hmm. Interesting. 
the way I see this, it's got both human and alien characteristics. Oh, first it's a skunk ape, and now it's an alien? There's only one way to find out. Let's go track this thing. Martin, that's the craziest thing I've heard yet. This, I'll study later. Right now, we've got to call in some help for this poor man. Well, I'd rather be crazy than narrow-minded. Oh, I'm a scientist, young man. I don't invent wild fantasies every time something unusual comes across my radar screen. Science, Martin, is here to rescue us from the myths that keep us in the dark. Come on, Diana. According to the ranger, that man's a logger who went missing three days ago. Did the logger give any more information about whatever it was that grabbed him? Well, he was too shaken up to say. We'll investigate in the morning, but I feel pretty good about my Selenarctus Africanus theory. Hmm. Right. Well, maybe I'll go record some nocturnal animal sounds for reference. You want to come, Martin? No, thanks. squared off against evil trees. I've defeated bog creatures, gotten up in the face of an acid-spewing alien insect queen. And because the center is top secret, I can't tell Dad any of that. He's always gonna think I'm just a kid. I'm sorry, Martin. You know, I wish I was more like you, brainy. Ah, uh, how brainy can I be? <laughs> I can't even find my way out of a Swiss cheese video game. I'm serious, Di. If I were more scientific, maybe Dad would be proud of me. <laughs> Survival Training 101. Dad! Martin, do you think Dad's okay? Well, the logger was grabbed for three days and wasn't seriously hurt. I'm guessing we still got some time. Hey, check it out! It's a logging camp. <gasps> it's Dad's. <gasps> we must be close. not Selenarctus Africanus. Uh, how about we bounce theories off each other after we get out of here? It's a synth. Uh, a, a what? A creature, a synthesized from both human and alien genes. Oh, Martin, please. This isn't the time. Oh, look. Obviously, it was abandoned by its creators thousands of years ago. It must have lived in secrecy until the loggers infringed on its territory. Dad, are you okay? As crazy as this sounds, I can't deny the evidence. Martin, where did you learn about this creature, this, this synth? Dad, I have something to tell you. Uh, Diana and I... Take some amazing electives oh. at Torrington. Phew. Huh. 
Explain later. Get me one of these. Huh? Welcome to you. Martin, Diana, Java come fast as he could. <laughs> We're fine. Uh, too bad about the synth, though. She was just trying to take care of her family. We monitor the cave in from the chopper. The synth and her babies are just fine. The center will make sure they're relocated to a safe location. Billy, prepare for dust off. Roger that, Mom. Enjoy the rest of your vacation time, agents. Hold it, Jav. How did you know that we were in trouble? Uh, Java could tell, but then have to send you to South Pole. Mm. Uh, Martin? Diana, what happened? Where's the synth? Dad, you should have seen it. Martin saved us. He turned their sonic shriek back on them. Yeah, too bad you didn't get to see me do it. Martin, I don't need to see it to believe it. 
Really? Yeah, after you've shown me what you're capable of, why would I doubt it? <laughs> hey, why don't I skip the field research and we spend the rest of the weekend really roughing it at a five-star hotel? Maybe I can rough it by the pool, surrounded by wild bikinis. <laughs> wild bikinis?